Yeah, I am vlogging today. I wish I would have thought to do this when I first started doing Brunner Brothers, but I totally forgot until today. It just popped in my head. I'm like, I'm going to bring my camera and vlog, but this is the last day of Brunner Brothers. I literally just got out the shower and everything I was supposed to do. Been did that like a long time ago because I got I had to be there by 7, but it's now like 7.10. But they don't let us in until 8 o'clock anyway, so I feel like I'm okay. But then again, I stay all the way on the north side of Atlanta, and it's downtown, and it's a Monday. So my Atlanta subscribers, if you know what that means, you know traffic is going to be a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, let me just go ahead and get in the car and stuff, because right now, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on what I'm doing I'm going to Brunner Brothers today pretty much you can't really tell but they dyed my hair purple you probably can see it a little bit but yeah it's like a pruney type purple like I don't know purple is not really my favorite color I don't really like purple like that unless it's like a lavender I like lavender purple you know well whatever I don't know but I'm about to go to my car. I got to take all my stuff down. And I will probably pick the camera back up once I get there. Like, as soon as I'm walking in and stuff. So, yeah. Just hold on for a second. <laughs> so, I finally made it in. Now I'm about to walk to check in and go sit, basically. But, yeah, it is now 8.04. Hopefully, I don't get into trouble. But I shouldn't because last time... We didn't get a chance to go in until it was 8 o'clock, so that'll just mean I'm four minutes late, so I don't think it should be that big of a deal. Oh my god, I'm tired. So I wanted to get like a bag of chips or something, but these niggas charging $2.25 for a bag of little ass bag of chips. Yeah, I'll pass. I would definitely pass. It's bad enough, I already gotta pay $20 for parking every fucking day. That's $60 I done spent on a fucking parking. Like, oh my god. They're not paying me enough for this. <laughs> nah, but it's a cool experience. I'm really enjoying Burner Brothers, so yeah, let's see what today brings. I'm not the only late one. <laughs> I thought I was, and we're waiting on one more person, so I'm safe, y'all. I didn't think I was, you know, I'm not going to get yelled at or anything, but it's all good. <laughs> right. I had to get rushed in here. Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Maria. One of the homies, you know, I met her last year at Paul Mitchell. And we've been cool ever since. Ever since. No, okay, you left me hanging. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't see it, my bad. Tiffany here, hey. Okay. Hey, girl. Oh, we just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Tiffany. Hi. And this is Brianna. Good morning. She also has a YouTube channel as yes, well. Yes, you can, you can check out my content, The Cosmic Cat, on YouTube. We talk about positivity and money, things like that. And how yeah. to come to you having fun, being sexy and free, and all those good things. Oh. All that, all that. Make sure you subscribe to her channel. I'll be sure to link it down in the description box so you guys can just go straight to it. So, yeah. Yeah, I pretty much got rushed into makeup. So, I am sitting here waiting on my hair because I am the first one to go on today, which is surprising because I was dead last <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> like, it's your dead last. Turn now. So, it's my turn to shine. Okay. To shine. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever this is, some silkies, that's what I heard him say. He said what? Some silkies. He's going to be doing some silkies on my head. It's basically like a rod, but I think it's going to be softer. Yeah. It's so. going to be more like how it is on the yeah. right side. Um, well, we're going to see. I don't know what time we're going on. He don't even know what time we're going on. So, yeah, I'm going to sit here and finish my Pringles. And... Enjoy this sitting before I have to put on heels and stuff and stand everywhere. But yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, I'm going with you. Hold on. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but everything is just happening so fast. I really can't get a lot of footage like I want to. But yeah, 
I just just got off stage. He's doing like a refresh, refresher type hairstyle. Because yesterday I had one curls, which was really pretty. So yeah, this is supposed to help it kind of activate it again. All that good stuff. So. And I have on a pink dress. It's kind of weird. <laughs> It's like really, really long, and the sleeves, it like connects, yeah, it's kind of weird, it's, it's very interesting, maybe I can get someone to kind of hold the camera so I can give y'all like a full body look of it, <laughs> but yeah, so right now I'm just pretty much waiting for the next segment, um, my stylist that's doing my hair, he's on a break right now, so yeah. I'm just pretty much sitting here. It's pretty live out here. Let me see if I can get a glimpse. Hold on. This is Bruna Brothers. We're over here by a lot of makeup and stuff. Hey. <laughs> she just wanted some lotion. <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. Hopefully I'll be eating in the next shot because I'm hungry. As always, I love to eat. But yeah. So I'm about to give y'all a glimpse of my dress right quick. Don't laugh at me. I mean, it's all right. It ain't all that tacky, but it's pretty crazy. Hold on. So that is my dress. Oh, now we just sent off the homie Tiffany. She went to go get us some loaded macaroni. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It's macaroni and cheese with pulled pork and it has barbecue sauce drenched on it. It's so good, y'all. It's from Jim and Nick. So if you're in Atlanta or wherever they have a Jim and Nick's at, go by and try that. It's, it's the bomb. I promise. I promise. Yo, 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 yo. This is why I'm fat now. <laughs> this is macaroni and cheese, pulled pork with barbecue sauce. This will make you want to slap your mama. I'm not playing. Like, this is so good. This is so good. Oh my gosh. So that is a wrap. We're done. Woo! We're done. <laughs> All right. What do you guys want down? Hey. I have a flight to catch. Y'all gotta be hanging dresses up. Oh, okay. Hey. Well, that means it's a wrap, y'all. It's time to go. So, that's the end of Brenda Brothers. Aren't you so happy? Oh my yes, god, oh I'm my so god. happy that it's over with. Like, oh oh my god. Y'all have no idea. I was just a lot of energy, no sleep, none whatsoever. No food. Anyway, that's it. Let me take this dress off. <laughs> Woo! So I finally made it home. Brenda Brothers was a true experience. Like I did it last year for Paul Mitchell. And oh my God, those were like the longest three days ever. Like, and this was like the longest three days too. Even though we really didn't do that much, it was just the sitting. Like we was pretty much just sitting there half the time. Cause yesterday, well actually on Friday, no, Saturday. <laughs> actually on Saturday we were prepping. It was hair prep day. So they was like coloring us, like trying to see which color they was going to do for each girl. And then Saturday was the actual day of us doing like the show, the runway part. So, oh my God, I was like dead last yesterday to be, you know, to get ready, to get my makeup done, to get my hair done. I'm just like... So I was pretty much just sitting there all day. I was reading my book. I was on my phone. I went to sleep like twice. <laughs> it was just, it seemed like yesterday was just a really long day. As soon as I walked in, as you can see in like the previous part of my video, I had to rush into hair and makeup. So I'm like, okay, this is cr kind of crazy. I wasn't used to that because I thought I was going to be last again because that's how I was on Saturday. I was like dog last in. Excuse my makeup. It's okay. She did a good job, but I just feel like I look kind of crazy right now because I took the lashes off, but I'm about to wash my face anyway. So yeah, because I need to wash my face after this. I feel so cakey right now. Yeah, that was it. I didn't get a chance to walk around and show like all of the different booths and stuff. They had Morphe brushes there. They had freaking Inglot there. 
Ingla, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's like a really good company for like makeup. And they have like all kinds of other makeup brands, of course, hair brands, um, um, hair extensions, like anything you can think of was pretty much there. <laughs> Brenner Brothers is a pretty cool experience. I really do enjoy going when I do get the chance to be a part of it. Now, I'm just waiting on my boyfriend. He went home. He actually went home for the weekend. He went back home to Arkansas. He had like some business and stuff to take care of. So I don't know what time he's going to get in. It's probably not going to be until late this afternoon. So you guys won't be able to see him until tomorrow probably <laughs> or later on in this video. That's when you guys will get to see him. But he's kind of salty right now. He's kind of a little mad at me because <laughs> he got pulled over twice. Because I told him I wanted him to drive like early in the morning so he can get home while it's still like daylight or whatever. Because I hate when he drives late at night. I really do hate that. But now he's trying to blame me because he got pulled over twice because he can't drive. He don't know how to drive. <laughs> he can drive, but he drives crazy. Like he speeds. He's speeding demon, And he doesn't pay attention while he's driving. And it's like, just pay attention. Just slow down. You should have learned after the first ticket that you got on your way down there. And now you're getting one on your way back for the same thing. <laughs> so, like, don't get mad at me talking about I blame you. I blame you because you told me to drive during the daytime. See, if I would have drove at night, this would have never happened. Yeah, I'm sure if you was doing freaking 100 at nighttime and the freaking police was posted up, they would have pulled you over then, too. So, yeah, get it together. Anyways, I just had to get that off my chest because I hate when people blame stuff on me and it's not even my fault. Like, you did that. You decided to speed. You decided to not pay attention to the road. you rather be on your phone while you're driving. Like, anyways, next subject. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm about to wash my face. Oh, I do want to show, like, a couple of things that I got. Oops, got a little dark. I want to show a couple of things that I got. I did stop by the Morphe brushes table. That was the only place I was able to really stop and get some things and like look at it, like look at some stuff. But I only got like two things. <laughs> I only got two things and the two things that I got, I'm pretty much late on. So, let me see y'all right here. Alright, that's good. Alright, so what I got, this is the bag. This is Morphe brushes. I was so happy when I saw that table right there. I was just like, oh my God, I got to freaking stop there. I have to buy something because I've been wanting to get the 350 palette for the longest. And they have like tens of thousands of palettes there for like anybody that wanted to get one for freaking $19. Like versus spending like 30, 35 or $40 online when trying to order it. So when they was there, I was like, oh yeah, definitely had to pick that up. So that was just on my on the top of my list of being there. When I saw that table, I was like, I have to see if they have that 350 palette. So the palette that I actually ended up getting, I didn't actually get the regular um, matte palette or the shimmer palette. I got the one, it's all wrapped up nicely. I got the one, see it says 350 right here. 350 and this is what it looks like on the front say so it's morphe but um i actually got the one where it has the mixture in it isn't it pretty oh my god hold on there we go it has the mixture of matte and shimmers in it so i'm oh, that was the plastic that was on there so i am so excited to use this and make like blah, 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 blah. see i can't even talk that's how excited i am i'm excited to like try to recreate a look or create a look or anything of that nature but I'm like and it smells so good <laughs> but I'm like super excited about this palette it's so pigmented as you know from other people that already that already been got this palette and I'm just now getting on there but whatever but yeah I'm so happy it's like mixtures of shimmers and also the matte so because I didn't want to just get matte all the way because I do like some shimmers like earth tone shimmer blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk like what the hell I do like earth tone shimmers so they do have a lot of those and this palette is basically like neutral colors so 
and also earth tones and also transitions into like burnt orange and you know just great fall colors so that's what I'm excited about. I really cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited. Like, I'm so happy that I got this palette. But I only got one brush. And it's probably, like, the most dumbest brush ever. <laughs> but I got this, um... I don't know. It's kind of like... What is though? I cannot think of... Like, the spiky type brush. Not spiky, but... Damn, I cannot think of the word. Anyway, it's like one of those brushes. If you know what I'm talking about, then just put a thumbs up at the in the comment area. <laughs> but I got it in like a smaller version. So when I do my highlight, I can kind of just like blend it versus wiping back and forth like that. I can just buff it into the skin and give it more of like a natural finish, if you get what I'm saying. I've just seen like a couple of YouTubers do that with like a brush like this, tight brush like this. So, and this was $3. So, yeah, and I only spent like $23, 24 with tax. I spent $24 on these two items, and I'm happy with it. Yes, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, like I said, I'm about to wash my face and drink my smoothie that I got and watch some TV and just wait till my boyfriend get home so he can cuss me out for him getting the speeding ticket. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Ooh, sorry that this lighting is very weird in my bathroom. I look red. <laughs> anyway, I just got done washing my face. And I just kind of wanted to show you some of the things that I use when washing my face because I get a lot of questions on what is my skincare regimen. Why am I so red, y'all? I can't kneel. I cannot talk. So normally i usually used to use just my hands to wash my face i tried or a sponge i bought this like black charcoal sponge that's by um i still got it too it's in this box it's very old this is what i normally i either use my hands or i use this right here this is by eco tools it is like a black charcoal sponge and it softens when you when it gets wet so i really liked using this when i was washing my face but like i stated it was starting to get old because they say every six months you're supposed to get a new one and i had this for like a year <laughs> so i'm not like the best at keeping up with stuff sometimes so recently i just got a clarisonic which i am in love with <laughs> this is the clarisonic's pink and this is what i use to wash my face now i try not to i'm not gonna try to use this every single time when i wash my face because it really exfoliates like you can really feel it like cleaning and like really getting down in those pores so it i wouldn't recommend using the clarisonic every single day so i think i am like either gonna start back using my hands from time to time i'm sorry this is like red light special right now <laughs> i am gonna use my hands from time to time just to kind of cleanse my face and i think i am gonna go back and buy another one of those sponges so on days when i don't want to use the clear sonic to like really deep clean or like get like an exfoliating type feel i will use this black charcoal sponge to wash my face with and <clears throat> what i use um to like get my makeup off and stuff and before i wash my face i use neutrogena um makeup wipes and I also use this Lancome Bi Facial. It's like a eye makeup remover because sometimes I get like glue and like um, eyeliner that's hard to kind of get off when I'm um, wiping off my makeup with a makeup wipe. So I try to um, wipe my face with the makeup wipe and then I go over my eyes with that stuff right there and it really do get it off and sometimes i even use that to like get my makeup off as well too because that stuff really really gets your makeup off like it's crazy wash my face i either use this right here by neutrogena this is the purifying facial cleanser i really really like this it generally remo removes impurities and improves complexion for fresh clear skin so i really really like this stuff right here and I recently just got this as a gratis because we was having like a competition at work to see who sold the most um, one day and I won. So I ended up getting, they said I can either choose between getting 
some makeup or some skincare. So I chose getting skincare and I got a thing from Kiehl's, if you ever heard of Kiehl's. This is, let's see if it focus. Okay, so it's not gonna focus. So this is the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser with Amazonian White Clay, exfoliates and detoxifies. This stuff right here, it has your skin feeling so good. Like this is what I just used to wash my face. I've been using this for like three days now and I really do like the finish like the feel of it like it feels really really good it doesn't lathers up because it's not like a soap type clean it's an um it's amazonian white clay like with a amazonian white clay so it's like a clay texture and it just really like you can like i use it with my clear sunny and like you can really feel like the cleanse like it feels really good on the skin so i really really like this stuff and i also got this mask the same thing it's a mask it comes with it and i kind of use this for like a spot treatment and because one day i had like a bump on my face and i put this on and like literally the next day it kind of went like it kind of went down in size like it wasn't as red like it was at first so yeah that's some good stuff y'all like kills is the truth like i really do like kills well i'm starting to like kills <laughs> and then the next thing that i have is the kills turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask now i ended up getting a packet of it which was really cool um like the first week when i started working there like in my job i work at dealers by the way and i work at a makeup counter so um i ended up getting a sample of this like just in a packet and i really really like it like what it is you wet your face like after you clean your face you kind of damp your face a little bit more after you clean it and then you put this on top and you kind of let it sit i kind of let it sit for like 20 30 minutes next because i really like for it to just dry completely because it does dry it's a mask and then what it is the cranberry seeds that's in it's like little small cranberry seeds after you let it dry you're supposed to wet your hands and then you kind of scrub it off like you wipe it off with your hands like that and it's supposed to exfoliate your skin and give you like this little radiance natural glow like it's the bomb i really really like this stuff so definitely try this out let me see if the focus now i'm sorry y'all this lighting oh my god i don't know why i don't want to focus i'll be sure to just link all each one of these down in the descri description box if you're interested or just want to take a look at the name or anything like that but they're all three by kills oh and one last thing this moisture face moisture y'all i got this from kills now i got this <laughs> this is the ultra facial cream y'all when i tell you hydration on 10 if you feel like you suffer from like dry skin this right here like i'm not kidding like this will put the moisture back in your skin like because i know i have like combination skin where off and on my skin will be oily or it'll be dry and now that it's about to be fall winter time my skin is really about to start acting up but right now i'm really loving how my skin is because i've been really taking good care of it and trying to wash it like twice a day like once in the morning and once at night before i go to sleep like when i take my makeup off i made a thing a vow that you know, on days when I really feel like I need to use my Clarisonic, I'm going to use my Clarisonic to wash my face, take off my makeup and stuff. But anyways, back on subject, this stuff right here is the bomb. Like, this is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So, definitely, definitely get this. You will not be, like, disappointed. Like, this stuff right here is the bomb. Like, I'm not even joking. This crap is so good. So, so good. <laughs> so, definitely try this out. And the last, last thing that I use when I don't use my Neutrogena, I will use this, Biore. This is the pure, I mean, not pure. This is the pore unclogging scrub. So this is really good for when you're taking off your makeup and you feel like your pores may be still clogged up with some, you know, product in there. Definitely use this. This really helps me and it kind of minimizes my pores a little bit more than usual. And yeah i just really really like it so and it says don't be dirty you don't want your skin to be dirty because your skin is the foundation of your makeup if you want your makeup to look flawless or to look good you really have to take care of your skin and i'm really learning that now and i'm really being an advocate now 
about in taking care of your skin, washing your face every day, drinking lots of water. Kind of been slacking on that part, but I'm going to, just, you know, bring put it back into my regimen. Like, I need to start drinking more water. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, people are always asking me, like, how do your makeup look so flawless? And how do you just do this and do that and blah, blah, blah. But I'm just like, yo, you got to freaking take care of your skin. Like, if you don't take care of your skin, your makeup is not going to look good. Like, I can't stress that enough to people. Like, you real deal have to wash your face. Like, you see how, like, clear my skin is looking? Like, it's just, everything is just, like, smooth. I may have, like, I got a bump in my eyebrow from this weekend from wearing all this makeup but other than that my skin is like super clear like i suffer from like breakout i know i probably don't have like acne prone skin it's not as horrible or it doesn't look as bad as most people but i really do suffer from like little breakouts or my pores are enlarged or blackheads like i do suffer from those little things and that really tends to make my makeup look weird so yeah now that I've been really taking care of my skin, I've really seen a huge difference. So, yes, I know I'm babbling right now, but that is a huge, 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 huge thing to do. Just take care of your skin. That's all I can say. You really have to take care of your skin. Hygiene. It comes with hygiene. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on that part. Just wanted to show you guys what I've been using on my skin lately and to just kind of answer some of those questions that I've been getting on Snapchat and stuff. So, yeah, I hope that answer your question. But don't forget to look in the description box. Like, I'm really, like, everything that I mentioned in this video, look in the description box. I'm going to place everything there. So, yeah. All of the questions, everything will be answered down there. So, be sure to look down there. So, my boyfriend's back home. I'm sorry. I'm so happy. And he didn't cuss me out, by the way. <laughs> Did you go cut right. me out? <laughs> because you was blaming me that you got speeding tickets on your way back. I got one on the way there. And, <laughs> and he tried to blame me for it. I was like, he gonna cuss me out when he get home. Watch. <laughs> it stink. I don't understand why you keep spraying it. Now we're about to go, hopefully to Sonic. Because I want a breakfast burrito. They have some really good breakfast burritos. We pray that this woman is not it. Oh, I'm wrong for that. I'm so wrong for that. <laughs> Y'all, it's this woman at work here. She got like a stuttering problem. Oh, I feel bad that I just did see, that. See, see. No, but it's like they put her on the freaking box the speaker box to take orders and it's like we can't understand what she's saying like why would they do that thank you for stopping at sonic my name is morning how can i help you today oh yes um I can i get a me. number 16 a bacon number 16 for everybody who has a uh, problem with stutters you know, stuttering sonic on us <laughs> Sonic is on us. No, no Sonic, Sonic is on her because she made the joke. <laughs> yeah, damn but you laughed hard. <laughs> <laughs> you laughed too hard. <laughs> Sonic is on her. On oh, us. Sonic is on her. On oh, us. But y'all, it was this woman. I think, I don't know, but she had a real bad stuttering problem and they will put her on the speaker to take orders. Like, they wrong. why would y'all do that? No, nah, they wrong for that now. They were so wrong for that. Like, why the, would y'all This establishment is... is <laughs> It's terrible for it's that. It's kind of ratchet. It's like, why would you do that? Like, nobody can really understand what she's saying. Like, you got people without going, a stutter. Yes. That's working. Yes. You know. But y'all put her on the speaker. On, like, like, Lord, you think wrong with it? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> so now we're back. Now I'm about to figure out what kind of outfit to wear and all this stuff. We're gonna go to the movies and everything. But that's pretty much it for this vlog. Um, I'm trying to make it a habit to maybe, don't quote me on this, don't hold me to my word. But I wanna try to upload a vlog every week, even if it's for a day or two days. But um, yeah. 
So I'm just gonna end this vlog right here. We're pretty much just gonna be hanging out, going to the movies, then he has to go to work. And I don't have to work today, so I'm pretty much not gonna be doing anything. So yeah, if this is interesting to you, just comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up, everything. Do all that good stuff. And I will talk to you in my next video.